If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. While a report can show numbers that are critical to understanding the overall health of your company, some people like a visual representation of the data. That's where graphs come into play in QuickBooks. A quick insight graph shows your data as either a bar graph or a pie chart, except for the budget versus actual and net worth graphs. The bar graphs and pie charts are just different visual ways of presenting the same financial information you can view in a typical report. QuickBooks has six types of graphs that can provide up to 15 different views of your data. Let's review the different graphs available in QuickBooks Pro. First you have the income and expense graph. This graph shows the company's income and expenses for the date range you specify. Next you have the sales graph. This shows your company's sales income for the period you specify. The accounts receivable graph shows how much your customers owe your company. The accounts payable graph shows how much your company owes its vendors. The net worth graph shows your company's net worth. The budgets versus actual graph shows the difference between budgeted and actual amounts earned or spent. The Quick Insight graphs that QuickBooks Desktop Pro produces have several features in common. One commonality is that every graph window, except net worth and budget versus actual, shows a bar graph in the top half of the graph window and a pie chart in the bottom half of the window. In the graph window, the bar graph will display totals of the data broken down by a specified period, and the pie chart will show a summary total of some type of information shown in the bar graph above. Also, every graph comes with a graph toolbar, which you can use to customize the graphs in much the same way as reports. Like the reports, you can also use quick zoom in a graph to see the actual numbers represented by the selected items in the graph. You will typically get summary reports that you can continue to quick zoom to trace back to the original transactions shown in the totals in the graph. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.